Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to a Chrono Trigger. Let's make our way back to the present through a Truce Canyon. Hello. How's it going, guys? Rude. Well, they should all be fairly easy to take out. Goodbye. Nine experience points, 64G, one potion. Let's see, I think we got all the uh, treasures around here, yep. Hello, how's it going? I think that might be a new enemy, a Fiendillo. Stop attacking Luca, dang it. Uh, that has a lot more hit points. And that was just rude, sir. Did you guys counterattack or something? Yeah, that's what you get for uh, sticking your tongue out at me. 11 XP, a 59G, an Ether, and a Potion. Well, that's pretty good. Wouldn't reveal that. So how do we get home? Well, Your Highness, we... Please, call me Marley. Well then, Marley, observe. Whoa! Luca, you're amazing! <laughs> Sorry, I should be more humble in front of... Enough already, I'm a princess, but what's that mean? I can't do anything special. I, I mean, you have some pretty good magic, and you have a crossbow. No one else in the party has a crossbow. But you, you're incredible. I'd trade my name for your genius in a heartbeat. Well, if you say so. Anyway, I call these distortions gates. They're basically portals to the same location in a different time. The gates are unstable. That's why they appear and disappear all the time. So I use the principle behind my telepod device to create this gate key. That's what's locking the gate in place. But why did this gate suddenly appear in the first place? Either the telepod had something to do with it, or something else made it. This is starting to sound complicated. We don't have... Why don't we head back to our own time for now? Alright, coming, Chrono? There was a new uh, enemy that we could have uh, met back there, but... I'll see if uh, I can do so by going back there. We do, we made it! Chrono, Luca, why don't you come back with me to the castle? It would give me a chance to thank you properly for everything. I'm really sorry for putting you through all this, Marley. What are you talking about? It was the most fun I've had in months! And I made new friends, too. Chrono, be a gentleman and take her home. I still need to do a little more snooping into why that gate appeared. See you again soon, Mart Luca. Well, Chrono, are you ready to escort me home? I guess so. Can I go back through? Looks like I can. I think you have to enter from this way to get the... Uh other new enemy. Maybe not. Oh, yep, there it is. Or maybe not. No, maybe these are. I think these are the new ones. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> but this game does add a bestiary, so I may as well uh, try to fill it out, right? Alright, let's return to our time. Wee! 
All right, let's go uh, take her home, take her back to the castle. I don't think we uh, need to say anything to anyone. Um, Melchior the Swordsmith, at your service. Might I interest you in one of my fine blades? Uh, yeah, let's take a look. So I could get the silver sword now, but it's only a slight increase at this point. So I think I will skip it. Uh, no. Sorry. It's amazing how only 400 years has caused uh, a pretty big change to the continents. Let's see. Oh, hey, you're back. Hello. Elaine must be down at the pier again. That Fritz, where could he be? Hello there. What can I do for you? Uh, potion, panacea, Athenian water, and a shelter. Steel saber, which is what I have, and an iron bow gun. Let's go ahead and get that for Marley. Bronze helm we have, and I could get a maiden's suit for Marley. Let's go ahead and get one. Thank you very much. Iron bow gun and maiden suit. Sounds good. Well, let's go down to the pier, see if uh, that person is there. Mysterious whirlpool sometimes appears near here. What do you suppose could cause such a thing? An underwater cavern? If only my dear Fritz would return. I'd ask for nothing more. He left on a journey, but he's not yet returned. Well, there are other continents that we could go visit, but not right now. The, uh... The monastery is gone. Alright, let's go to Luca's house. Let's go see how she's doing. Hey, Luca! Hmm, reducing the form factor of a bipedal robot without compromising balance is tougher than I thought. Oh, Chrono, hurry up and escort the princess back to the castle. But I want to visit your house. Luca and Taban are always off tinkering on their latest inventions. I bought you this apple that we earned today. Oh, you're so thoughtful. Mmm, an apple. Uh, this would appear to be Luca's room. She does indeed live upstairs. Oh, Luca's friends. Yes? Yeah, that's all you're gonna say? Okay. Alright, let's go through uh, Guardia Forest. Well, hello! What do we have? Amanita! All right, they're pretty easy. I probably could have encountered them earlier. 9 XP, 48 G, I got a potion. Mm, potions. Obtain strength capsule. I should probably use those. Gotcha. Oh God, spiders. Oh. I want to fight the other guy. Scarab! Alright, I guess they're not spiders. They're just bugs. Nine XP, forty five G. Nothing 
In there, hello. Okay, apparently I have to stand on just the right tile. All right, bugs. Let's fight the uh, gilded bellbird. Yeah, critical hit was uh, very unnecessary there. <laughs> I mean, I'll take the critical hits. That's fine with me. 10 XP, 48 G. Hello? Why does the path to the castle have monsters in it anyway? How do people get in and out of the castle? Maybe these are defenses of the, uh castle. Make sure they're not uh, bothered by any of the filthy peasants. Got another potion. Doing okay on hit points. Gonna reveal that a little bit there. Maybe that's how they do it. People just, uh, walk on by. I do like that if you know the, the route, you can walk by enemies and not worry about fighting them. Dang, we're getting all kinds of critical hits. I haven't really looked into the mechanics of the game, so I don't know if, uh, fighting easier enemies makes critical hits more frequent. But that's sure what it seems like. <laughs> Open glade ahead. A mysterious force seals it shut. I'm sure we'll never be able to do anything with those ever. They're just there for decoration, right? Guardia Castle. Princess Nadia! Are you all right? Where on earth have you been? We'd heard you were abducted. We had soldiers combing the entire kingdom for you. See, just look at these combs. <laughs> you, back there. You're the one, are you? Thought you'd kidnap the princess? Yes, which is why I brought her here. Are you stupid? Chancellors are always evil. No, Chrono only... Seize him! Seize the filthy terrorist! He deceived our princess and plotted to overthrow the crown! No, no, you mustn't! It's amazing how they don't listen to the uh, princess. Stop this right now! What are you fools doing? But her highness, the princess said... It doesn't matter what she said, seize him! I, I mean, it kind of does. Chrono! Alright, I may have not done this right, but we'll see. Not that it matters in the grand scheme of things, but... I, your Chancellor, shall serve as prosecutor. I have ample experience... Prosecuting everyone from the person who uh, scuffed up my shoes to that last murderer who, uh, you know, I just pretended was guilty. I, Pierre, represent the defense. Members of the court, I will now bring forth the defendant, Chrono, who is charged with the abduction of Princess Nadia. Shouldn't you have a bailiff do that? What shall be his fate? To burn at the stake, perhaps? To feel the tickler? Or hang upside down? Uh, me, personally, I'm, I'm hoping for the burning at the stake part. Or shall we employ the guillotine? The choice is yours, good jurors. Now let us begin. 
We shall first hear the testimony of the defense. The Chrono is charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, how could he be guilty of a crime that never occurred? And the prosecution would have you believe that the, def the defendant kidnapped the princess. However, the truth is quite to the contrary. Not only was their meeting a coincidence, but it was the princess herself who asked Chrono if she could join him. Is this true? Who was responsible for initiating contact? Uh, well, I was. Indeed, the defendant deliberately approached the princess, pretending it was an accident. Oof. Ouch. Having subdued the princess, the defendant then coerced her into visiting Luca's little sideshow. There were countless witnesses to this. Shortly thereafter, both the princess and the defendant vanished. If that is not criminal abduction, I don't know what is. Um, I don't think you know what is then. Several other acts have also been brought to my attention that call the defendant's character into question. Objection. This cannot possibly have any relevance to the case. Care to respond, Chancellor? Chrono's character is at the very core of this case, Your Honor. This evidence will show that his test, his testimony cannot be trusted. Very well, we have nothing to hide. I would like to call a witness who can vouch for the defendant's good character. Maybe the princess herself? No, apparently not. That man brought me my kitty back. Thank you, mister. How about that? The man before you is a fine, upstanding youth. He deserves to be honored, not put on trial. I mean, how can you deny that when I brought a little girl her kitty back? Is there a greater act of goodness? Besides all the ones that are greater. Phew, looks like you're buying it. Uh, wh why, why are you saying buying it? The real issue here is motive. Was there any motive for this good youth to kidnap Princess Nadia? No, there was none. Pardon me, but I believe the motive was quite clear. Greed. Her fortune did tempt you, did it not, Chrono? Uh, no. Are you sure you weren't in the least bit tempted? Not at all. I didn't even know she had a fortune. Very well. No more questions, Your Honor. I believe this has been made quite evident that my client is a fine and virtuous young man. The defense rests, Your Honor. Members of the jury, it is time for a verdict. If you believe the defendant guilty, stand to the left, innocent to the right. Not guilty. Uh, that's one. Not guilty. I don't think the uh, audience likes this. Not guilty. Why are they all old men? Not guilty. <laughs> Not guilty. Not guilty. That's six, now seven. Not guilty. Order in the court. All right, so um, it looks like I am getting the uh, innocent verdict. Um, so doing what I did, uh, if you say that Marley was responsible, you will... Uh, I think you'll probably have, like, one person say that you're guilty or something like that. If you ate the old man's lunch, that will come up. Um, if you say that you were tempted by her fortune in either of those cases, then uh, that will also have a bearing. Uh, if you picked up the pendant before speaking to Marley, that will also uh, have a bearing. If you 
tried to convince Marley to sell the uh, the pendant to Melchior. That will also uh, go towards uh, Guilty. And if you try to leave while she's buying candy, that will also uh, have a bearing on that. A verdict has been reached. The defendant has been found not guilty. But even if he did not kidnap the princess, the fact remains that he aided in her flight from the castle. I sentence the accused to three days of solitary confinement as punishment. Wait, what? Habeas corpus! Take him away! Stop! <clears throat> Sorry, my voice messed up there. P princess Nadia! Quite enough, young lady. But, Father... All I asked was for you to remain at the castle and behave like a princess. What's done is done. Even royalty must obey the laws of the land. Uh, that was you asking her to do something, not passing a law preventing her from doing something. Leave the rest up to the Chancellor and forget about your little escapade in town. We are through here! Chrono! Very rude. Well, at least it's only three days, right? This man is a seditionist who meant to overthrow our kingdom. He has been found guilty by trial. I trust him in your care. Uh, excuse me, that's not what the, uh, the verdict said. Shut up! Ow! So this is a monster who abducted the princess. His execution is three days hence. See that he is still here to attend it. Uh, execution? I don't recall hearing anything about that. No cause for concern. There's only been a small delay in the paperwork. Or do you mean to question me? N never sir. Guards! Take the prisoner away. Aren't you guys monsters? Ow! Rude. Points and MP restored. Mmm, yummy. A sympathizer from your trial brought you that brought that for you. Enjoy it while you can. Ooh. Obtained six ethers. Days remaining until execution two. Uh oh. Well, let's get a save. The trial. Why are there only three save slots? Surely this game could have the the cart could have had more on there. Pipe down, you! Pipe down, you! Oh, how many times do I have to tell that filthy? If he won't quiet down, I'll quiet him down. Open the door. Ow! Oof! Ow! My stomach. It hurts. <laughs> That's what you get for not doing what you're told. Bonk. Maybe you should have taken my sword away. Where do you think you're going? Royal Guard, I am getting out of here. Hurt 10 XP, 70 G, and a potion. That guy's already gone. Surely I could climb under the crawl under that. Uh, 
All right, let's see. Is there a way to get through there? Yeah, so that's the maximum number of ethers he could have gotten. Um, if if you got four jurors saying that you were not guilty, then you'd get one ether. If it was five, you'd get two. If it's six, you get three. And if it's seven, you get six, which is pretty nice. All right, so I could have uh, um, waited for Luca to save me, but I think we'll try it this way for now. Don't mind me. Let's not go that way yet. Hello. it's easier to hit them when they uh, pop out, like that. If I remember correctly. Got a couple potions, it's always nice. Let's not go those ways just yet. Uh-oh. That seems dangerous. Oh, hi! Let's put you out of your misery. Eventually. Twelve XP and ninety G. Is a hole there. Well, maybe you have to find another way in there. Let's see where this goes. There he is! Well... Royal Guard, let's take you out. Ow! Rude! It's a good thing I have a lot of potions. Stop that! That's rude! Look, I'm not wearing heavy armor like you. That hurts. Whereas you, I'm just probably, like, knocking off and tossing down to your doom or something like that. What do you think you're doing? Uh, just moving through here. You know, killing you, that sort of thing. 10 XP, 70 G. You got another potion. What do you think you're doing? Uh, absolutely nothing at all. Except killing you. 10 XP, 70 G, a potion. Uh, hello? Help me, please! Free him from the guillotine? Sure. Thank you, that was close! I'm Fritz, my father runs a market in Truce. Stop by if you're ever in the area. Why were you in the guillotine? Obtain a mid potion. Obtain bronze armor. Oh, hi. How's it going, Lancer? Ouch! Stop that! 
Look, my head is a delicate object. I have to protect my spiky hair. I should run back and uh, recover hit points. Twenty four XP, one hundred eighty G. And uh, yeah, I think that's what we'll uh, do. I can't take that. So when we come back next time, we'll be back here, ready to uh, continue making our way out of uh, out of the castle. See you next time, everyone.